let's see how we can recreate this scene of my favorite TV show One Piece in simple yet clever way. Hi again, this is Daizen, welcome back. Okay, without further ado, let's begin. So, this tutorial is inspired by this scene of my favorite TV series, One Piece. You see, with this awesome simulation and this pirate ship, you can say, and this big sword. So, we're gonna uh, try to recreate that. So, what we need for that? Of course, we need a character. We need to animate that with this sword movement. It will be simple to animate, I guess. And I think we need a ship and we need, of course, a lot of simulation. So I guess we can handle that. Yeah, we have all the tools. <laughs> yeah, boy. So before we begin, let me thank these awesome people on my Patreon. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. And if you want more detailed, expandable version of this tutorial, it's available on my patreon so let's proceed so in first place we need a character and let's animate this simple move i guess this is simple but i want to do that sim in simple way so animating uh, will take too long you, you need to rig the character and you need to set up ikfk etc and you need to animate that with all these uh, poses and all this interpolation with supply so instead of that i have a good idea what about let's uh, have a mocap using a uh, move one solution this is awesome ai mocap by the way you can see it in this video it's awesome it's uh, uh, as you can see it can record your movement and you need to retarget that with your uh, character so that will took time so what's the alternative how we can do that so after a while i guess let's search on miximo let's see how we can uh, animate our character let's see you see luckily miximo had that so uh, I have this awesome warrior uh, uh, from uh, Miximo, so I will download that with this animation. Voila! Finally, we have our animation. So now, let's import that via FBX uh, character import in Houdini. It's uh, simple, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, this is our animation. You see that? And let me delete this armor, this shield. I don't need that. So this is our character see that awesome so now let's model our ship uh, this is i guess i, I want a, a pirate shape look as you can see but i'm not a modeler again so what's its alternative for that any idea i guess i will go to sketchfab this is my favorite place so let's see finally after as many search i found this model this is a decent one lovely and I want to import that uh, in Houdini. I want to create this file node and voila, we have our ship and let's merge it together. You see, we have something. So we need a beach uh, uh, like look in here. So I'm not a modeler, but I love VDB modeling approach. This is a simple uh, yet a clever way to modeling these days. So I have this box, I use VDB from Polygon and convert that to the Polygon again. So in between, I will uh, lay down a bunch of uh, spheres and mountain that to have a decent replace, uh, replacement map or displacement uh, map, <laughs> sorry. So as you can see, yeah, we have uh, some beach look as you can see, you see that? okay this is our scene we have that as you can see so so far so good now let's create our water using flip solver this is simple flip solver need a flip uh, container so it's like flip tank 
and I adjust this uh, size of flip container it's easy and now flip solver you see that and I enable the water line and as you can see we have decent water you see that and this is our water as you can see so now how we can do this force or this energy uh, through this water as you can see in this uh, reference video so I don't know honestly let's I, I'm not that good with flip solver to be honest so let's uh, let's try for instance pop force let's create pop force in flip solver and yeah as you can see it's not bad it will affect all this uh, simulation but I need in certain area so let's uh, create pop group for that let's see that yeah it's not bad but I don't know yeah it's not working for me so instead of that what we're gonna do this is a challenge any suggestion guys I don't know let me try something silly here I don't know maybe that will work so I will create this simple cube I uh, I, I want to make it pointy and of course uh, transformation to animate that as you can see you see we have this animation so I want to connect that via flip collider or, or flip collide and let's play and see and boom this is better for the starting so I want to adjust the height and the width in here and yeah let's try a different iteration in here see okay this is not bad this is what I want to do with that so in here we have uh, some parameter as you can see we have a velocity scale it will affect more on the water as you can see okay this is up to you and we have this flippy uh, sorry flip splashy with uh, velocity smoothing it will smooth the velocity it's straightforward as you can see the, you see the wave it's less in here it's, it's good honestly and yeah I want to show you some awesome parameter and we can disable this surface <coughs> collide it will disable the surface to colliding but we have uh, the velocity remaining as you can see and that's what we need because uh, it's not a surface that's colliding with this water it's like uh, energy with velocity I guess so as you can see with a simple uh, iteration and this parameter finally I found my look you see that this is our first scene with water as you can see so if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content let's proceed so now ship destruction so I want to art direct this simulation I don't want any uh, destruction random destruction so I want to uh, have certain look so for that I want to cut the ship in half in two pieces and I want some force or explosion in between or in the middle of the shape of oh, sorry of the ship so for that how we can do that let's try silly approach again so uh, let's see as you can see we have our ship I lay down a delete node and I select the half of the ship as you can see simple I duplicate that and change that to not select it simple again and uh, let's merge it together and have a name attribute because RBD bullet solver uh, rely on name attribute and after that let me see we need a constraint this is so uh, important in RBD bullet solver so uh, for constraint I use this awesome RBD constraint from rule I don't know it's working you see we have this line represent the constraint between these two pieces because we have two pieces and it's holding together so as you can see we have this error we're missing the necessary attributes for constraint for that I want to use RBD constraint property I guess RBD constraint properties yeah this is awesome you see the error is gone now we have something in here you see that we have our simulation it's slow I guess and yeah this is our first simulation now how we can do this explosion from middle of the ship I don't know I don't have any idea honestly 
and any suggestion let's let's try let's uh, make a mistake so uh, uh, first place I want to use I want to try pop force let's go in RBD bullet solver pop force and we have a y-axis uh, force as we can see cool but I need in the middle of the ship so I need uh, to create pop group with bounding box option as you can see yeah let's place it in the middle of the ship so I guess it will work you see pop force it's the, it's the time saver so let me adjust that maybe in here cool and let's have a name to pop force I'm always sorry pop group I'm always forget that and let's assign it in pop force cool and now let's play do, 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 do. voila we don't have anything I don't know why but I figured it out because we have uh, two pieces packed we have one point in here and one point in there it's not uh, is not enough point to affected by pop force this is not working you see if I disable the packing the pieces remain two pieces in here you see that what we're gonna do with that so this is a challenge and this not working any suggestion guys any idea I don't know let me try something let's go in silly idea as usual so I have this sphere and I want to push these pieces from uh, above and yeah I connect that to the collision and cool it's working yeah it's not bad and let's uh, uh, let's uh, change the type collision to deforming to uh, uh, sorry to detect this animation the movement and maybe RBD configure this is a uh, too large this impact too large so I want to manipulate the density or the mass and let's see cool but that's too much how we can fix that I guess this will fix just with the animation so instead of this uh, trans uh, trans transformation in y-axis I need half of that or small small uh, movement so you see that it's working cool so now we have this simulation you see that we hacked that and yeah it's awesome it's working the big question how we can make rbd solver interact with flip solver we don't have anything like multi solver in dop uh, network available in sub uh, uh, level and honestly this is uh, so challenging and I don't know maybe I will do that from scratch in DOP network this is this is a, a challenge honestly so uh, for that I guess if you're interested I will complete that on my patreon let's see what's happened there okay with that peace out guys goodbye